In the timesheet feature of Employee, you will be acknowledged about the timesheets that are being created by the employees. As on the timesheet, you will learn about the details of employees' time spent on Employee. Employee provides the users with five types of timesheet views daily, weekly, bi weekly, monthly, and custom. From the daily timesheet, you would be able to see the details of the employee's personal daily timesheet on a project task and date wise view. Here, employees can add manual time entry provided with an explanatory note. As an admin, you can allow or deny manual time entry options from settings. Let's move on to the weekly timesheet. Here, you can select the filters based on task, project, and member. By default, the weekly timesheet is set to show all employees' work week. If you wish to check individual employees' weekly timesheets, click here. A bi-weekly timesheet is set to show team members' timesheets in 14 days period. The monthly section of the timesheet will show the total timesheet for any specific month. This will give you an idea of the total hours worked in a given month. To check your employees' monthly timesheets, select a specific employee from the member option. The last one is the custom timesheet. In this section, you can see the employees' timesheets on a custom date range. Appployee comes with mobile app, desktop app, and browser extension. Time can also be tracked from the web app. In this section of the video, we will be discussing the available platforms and how to use them. Download the Apployee desktop app from the website or click on the desktop app option in the dashboard. The desktop app will be available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. After downloading and opening the app, you will find this interface on the screen. Log in with credentials and choose an organization. And you are into the app right away. Select the project and task to start tracking time. See the ongoing and completed tasks on the left part of the desktop app. You can create a task under a project from here. The desktop app shows an overview of today's total and weekly total work hours. Expand and collapse the desktop app and use light or dark mode based on your preference. Find the settings option under task. A Pomodoro timer also reminds you to take breaks and regain your energy to come to work. Set a work interval and break interval. Generally, a Pomodoro timer is set to have breaks every 30 minutes. Employee Desktop app will notify you once you need to take a break. Click on the profile picture at the top left corner of your app to see what employee is monitoring and your plan details. Download and install Employee mobile app from the Play Store or iOS App Store. Sign into the app with the credentials. Select the organization and join. Select the particular project and task, then start tracking time. Time tracked on your device will automatically sync with your daily timesheet. Besides time tracking, Employee mobile app allows you to clock in and out from the built-in time clock feature. If your organization has field service add-on, there will be additional features available. Once time tracking starts, the app will also start tracking the GPS location and route map, which can be viewed by managers later on. Additionally, if geofenced job sites are created, employees will only be able to clock in and out from within a specific location perimeter. Go to the web store from Google Chrome and search Apployee. You will find the Apployee time tracker there. Add it to the Chrome. It will be added right away. Put your email address and password in the Google Chrome extension. Provide your login credentials. Select Organization and Join. Select the project and task to start tracking time with Employee Google Chrome extension. Your tracked time will be synced to the daily timesheet automatically. There it is. You are good to go. Enjoy tracking time with Employee. If you have any queries, feel free to browse our knowledge base from employee.com help or contact us at support at employee.com.